It's up to Chase to set the mark for everyone else. And Bishop gets up in the air. And Brooks is doing work. What a great way to start the Bronk ride. Horse takes just a little scoot, then explodes. Kicking high and hard out the back. 87 points for the Montana Natives. Well, gentlemen, I said they brought the right horses, and they have. We're going to go to Zeke Thurston. He's at 52.50. He was 90 and a half on this horse. It's San Antonio, Livestock Show and Rodeo. Just a 13-year-old middle-aged mare, if I can say that. <laughs> you can say whatever you want, Bobby. <laughs> that, that's living proof. <laughs> well, everybody's had a shot at her in the bareback ride, and they won the 50,000 on her. Tim O did in Calgary in the bareback ride. Go ahead, Chad. She likes the Bronx. Right or right was 88 and a half. At Fort Worth. Zeke yep. has had this horse twice. Here's your third time to charm, boy. My only concern is those first couple jumps. Did he get just a touch behind? Right here, see? You want those feet to be above the horse's shoulders now. These are some of the most difficult horses to ride in the world, but the judges saw it as well. 81 points for Thurston, not enough to take Brooks out of number one. He'll be all right, he's been buying real estate in Texas. Dual citizen. Boyd, I think this is the toughest man in the Bronx ride today, and I'm gonna go back to Super Series 1. We beat him up, we hammered him, we slammed him, but Larry Culpepper is gonna to try to do the same thing. Well, this is Ben Anderson climbing aboard Larry Culpepper. That's the name of the horse, not the cowboy, obviously. Ben, 88 earlier today on Toma Joe from the car company. Pete Carr has also sent us Larry Culpepper. What have they done on this one? 90s everywhere. Brody Crest, 90 in San Angelo. Chase Brooks, 90 and a half in San Antonio. Larry's kind of sit like a dog, man. Five foot 11, 155 pound cowboy. Staring at 87. Good job, Here we go. Strong mark out. Lift and reach. Lift and reach. That's the old deal. Buck, Larry, Buck, ride, Ben, ride. That is a large farm animal right there. You're looking at 1,650 pounds, maybe. He's a hoss now. 83. 83. We're still chasing Chase with an 87. It's a matchup that Sage Newman would dream about. A world champion bucking horse named Womanizer and a shot to defend his title from a year ago here at Rodeo Houston. If he wants to go back to back, he must beat the 87 point ride from Brooks on this horse from the Serby family. Look back at some of the numbers. Zeke was 88 on this horse at San Antonio. Yep. That second jump on this horse is usually what gets guys. He will explode up in the air if he has his usual trip. If you're gonna get bucked off this horse, that's when it happens. Good there, Chuck. You're all right? I don't think we're going to fuck him off. Let's go, Houston. Help him ride. So far, so good. Newman riding like he wants two in a row. There's some hand clapping going on behind the chutes. 
That big jump up in the air. How much noise can you make for 90 points? Well, you got to give credit to the horse. The womanizer, you can't do it without, you can't win the race if you got a small motor in your race car. And he had the biggest motor in his today. Ah, he said, I got to find that boy, Paul Hamas. He's got what I want. Here's how it goes. Montana at the top, 50, nearly 57,000. Chase Brooks, you're happy. 25.5, Ben Anderson. That's U.S. money, Ben, 15.7. Zeke, that pocket change, add it to your two million. Here's Boyd. So, Sage, I just want to go through your last three rides on the final Sunday of Houston. A year ago on the championship day at Houston. A year ago, you're 93 on Billy. In the long round, you're 90. You come back and you're 90 again. 20 years from now, you're going to tell your kids about being a back-to-back -back champion at Rodeo Houston. What will you tell them? Oh, this is awesome. You know, I drew some great horses all week, and I'm um, happy to be here and glad to do a repeat. Well, you're a back-to-back. -back. It is a repeat. So let's take a look at your ride. Womanizer, you can't draw better than this paint horse from the service, can you? Uh, no, sir. I've never been on her before. I've seen her a lot, and super excited to have her. She does her deal and lets you show your stuff, and yeah, she was awesome today. So if you were going to give us a quick clinic, what is the most important thing you have to do to ride a horse like that? Uh, just poke the rain out there, stay back, and set your feet every jump. Okay, but that means poke the rain out. Don't lift. Or lift, don't pull, right? That's right. That's correct. Okay, well, you were number three in the world coming in. I think with the 50,000, we're going to get you. You're probably going to go to number one in the world. Are you excited about the rest of this year? Oh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm blessed to be here, and thanks for everybody coming out. And This is great. Two-time and reigning Rodeo Houston champion saddle bronc rider. Let's hear it for Sage from Montana taking home a truckload. There is our representative from Energy Transfer, Ms. Beth Hickey, the executive vice president of U.S. Gas Pipelines. Dr. Chris Bowman and our first lady, Ms. Zane Carruth. Congratulations again to Sage Newman, our champion saddle bronc rider. Thank you to Energy Transfer. First of all.